Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Ballroom. This is going to be a lot of PG as usual and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as we explore the burned down house of the Pax. I am going to try and look around the house a little bit. I know what we're going to find because I did play this part before, but I just want to make sure I don't miss anything very, very important that's around here. Oh, there's people over there. That would be Arlo and uh, Eudora. Haven't we heard of them before? Maybe they know something about what happened there. When the people escaped into Darkwood, Arlo was appointed as the leader. Arlo openly has no faith in the gods of Ballroom and this led to troubles with other elders. Right after the people started building this village, Kyler gathered those who feared the gods and left to build another village. Atlo never forgave Kyler for separating the people. Atlo spoils his wife with presents, but nevertheless she looks unhappy. Muddy is their only child. I heard about the torches, Arlo. Believe me, iron has nothing to do with the fires. The torch that we used at our home didn't start a fire because it's on a wall that wasn't burned at all. The torches are the only explanation. I had problems with my own torches. How can you say that? I, I told you that our torch at home has nothing to do with the fire. Something else started it. Calm down, child. Tell me, what do you think? How did the fire start at your home? I don't know, but I guess I'll find out. When the people escaped into Darkwood... Oh, no, that's yeah, that's the normal. Okay, so any news about the Pax? Sadly, nothing. If they, are, if they are in the woods, I fear for their lives. All kinds of monsters live in the Darkwood. Fox saw a troll the other day. Let's hope for the best for their family. Uh, did they leave the woods? They went back to the world ruled by bandits? Would, why would they leave this safe village? Would they be so, cr would be, they be so cruel as to risk a worse life for their child? If they, left the if they left the village to go back to their old lives, then that is their decision. We don't know anything for certain, child. I doubt we would. Ha we would. Um, I, w I doubt they would have left without any warning. Let's hope they'll be found. Yep. Yeah, let's hope they'll be found. Man, these guys. Well, let's. Uh, they don't really know. They probably don't know much. Um, I will talk to to her to his wife though. But I want to check this thing in here first, because uh, we. What do we see in here? Well. Mm -mm. There's something here. Oh, there it is. Burnt bread. Nope, that's not what I came here for. Is that a door? Oh, how do I open the door? Did I open the door? I don't. I don't know. There's something. There's some blood spatters around here, but I don't see anything else of interest. I seem to recall there being something interesting in here, but apparently not. So that's not the case. Um, let's see. Let's have a chat here with uh, who lives here. Hello. Is anybody around? Nope, apparently not, so let's take care of whatever they have. Uh, there's a thing here that's locked, I think. Yes, I don't know how to pick locks. That's okay, that's okay. Take those woods, take that wood, I suppose. Uh, and uh, let's keep going, because there's nobody in this house, and they don't mind if we take their stuff. I think I'm going to be quite a rogue. <laughs> We're off to a very steely start. A very steely, steely is not the word, but you know what I mean. I'm stealing a lot of stuff. Oh man, it's also getting night time, which is, and I'm tired, yes, that is a thing, that is a thing. Well, let's just uh, look around a little bit more, and soon enough we'll take a nap, or rest for the night. A couple of pickaxes there, some rock, I'm taking everything because you'll soon see that I will drop most of this stuff um, in a place, uh, safe place. What is that? Oh, that's nothing. Um, another outhouse, uh, should I go in there? What happens if I go into the outhouse? Nothing, okay. This house, I don't know who lives there. That would be over there. That would be Wilson and Myron or Mirren. I don't really know. Let's have a chat with uh, the wife here. Maybe they know. Eudora, that's right. Let's take these rose hips. Oh, what is that? You saw that? You saw that? Yeah, that's important. Strange bush. It has walnut and walnut and bear, uh, bear tooth. So, yeah, you need to be on the lookout for those because they have interesting stuff. Eudora is the loving wife of Arlo. She usually see, she usually stays quiet when Arlo is near, but when he's not around, she seems to be quite talkative. I often see a Eudora running after her disobedient son, Muddy. Muddy is a difficult child. Muddy's over there, I think. I can't really talk to her, though. Okay, it's fine. Let's have a chat with Muddy. Maybe he knows something. Hey, Muddy. Muddy likes to annoy people. <laughs> he knows that he can get away with almost anything because his father is the leader of the village. He usually follows me and Dudley around. There is no reason to try to scare him away because he will only try harder to annoy us. His real name is Oscar, but he forced his parents into calling him Muddy. Yeah, he's a little past, isn't he? He's gonna follow us, by the way, I think. Let me see if I can lose him up here. What is that? Can I steal your stuff? Apparently I can't steal their stuff. Okay, well, it's fine. It is okay. Let's look around. We gotta... Hmm. 
Oh yeah, some rocks right there. What is this? I remember this somehow, but it, I don't think I can open it. Can I drink from the well? Yes, I can. I am already well hydrated. Thank you very much. Let's have a let's have a, sat, a chat here with Wilson. Wil Wilson is Arlos's henchman. He acts like a bodyguard when the two leaders of the villages meet. Grandpa says Wilson and Arlo fought in many battles together before we escaped into the woods. He's a fearless soldier. He taught me how to fight. And uh, I, apparently I want to know more. Oh, come on. Mm, can't really learn anything because these are all for swordplay. Yeah, and I'm not good at that. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a ranger. So, show me your, your wares. He sells interesting stuff. But nothing. Oh, by the way, by the way, speaking of interesting, let's... Uh, Muddy is after me, by the way. Let me just save the game there. And Rufus apparently is bringing down a, a tree, which is totally okay. It's not my tree, so I'm fine with that. Let's steal what we can. Oh, that was a thing there. What was that? How to make a splint. That's cool. And we also got a brain purge scroll. I wonder what that does. I wonder what that does. Muddy is still around me. Man. Hey, Rufus. Rufus never talks. He works and does whatever you ask him to do and asks for nothing in return, but he never talks. People take advantage of him. Yeah, man, you need to stand up for yourself or you need to stop doing what, what people ask you to do. That's that's the thing. I'm getting manure, which is going to be needed to, um, of course, fertilize our little gardens. Let's be careful here because we're getting into the... No, Muddy, I know. I know, Muddy. Shut up. Go away. Um, oh, there's bees over there. We need bees, remember? Yes, we do. Oh, I can't go through here. That's fine. Muddy, let me go. Thank you. Man, it's getting nighttime, though. It is getting nighttime. I'm gonna need to rest very, very soon. Oh, strange. Oh, no, no, don't bring the tree down. Oh, tree drown? What is that? What do we have here? Nightmare berries and some other stuff. Let's see if I can get some bees, and I can. I don't remember how many I, 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 need, I need, though. Let's see. So I should ask, I need 10 bees. Okay, that's fine. What is that? Is that a, a wisp? Okay, wisps apparently are not aggressive. I thought, uh, when I first played the game, I thought they were aggressive, but they are not. So I'm not going to attack them or particularly run away from them. I'm just exploring here a little bit, trying to get away this from this muddy dude, but it's fine. It's okay. Okay, so let's go down here. Actually, let's go back home. Ooh, speaking of home, let's uh, press, what's the key? What's the key to go back home? I know there's a key down here. I know there's a key somewhere around here. That's the torch. Nope. Safe place. Yeah. And yeah, we're at our safe place. And this place apparently is safe, although there are there are wisps around. Let's see what we have here. Here you will be safe. Let's read that. So I got a couple of notes. Not here though. Over there. Yes. So let's see. Forget crime scroll. That's very good. If we get ourselves into trouble. How to make a splint. A uh, sturdy splint is an dispensable accessory for an adventure. All you need is some wood and some linen. Easy enough. Uh, what about this? Brain purge scroll. And here you will be safe. If you are reading this, then you are in danger. Hmm. I, I don't really understand. Apparently, I'm safe, but I'm in danger. I don't know. Make this place your home. Here you will be safe. This forest is hidden from every power in the world. Only speak to whom you trust about this place. Yes, I am going to do just that. So let's... Bring out the light, first and foremost. Let's zoom back a little bit. And let's see what we have here in these crates. Because we have a bunch of stuff. We have glass. We got a lot of wood. Is that Jax? Jax, is that you howling? Hopefully so, man. Hopefully so. We got a lot of uh, nails as well. That's one of the reasons why I didn't buy any nails from uh, from the, um, you know, the blacksmith. Because I was going to get more. So, Ash Ambrosia, let's take that. Can I take that? I can, good. Okay, so let's build our own little house away from home. Or a home away from home would be the correct way of saying that. Um, so let's see. Does this... This has... Yeah, this... Okay, so if I go into building mode, which is... Oh, I need to press... Hmm, it's kind of... Okay, it's all good. Uh, let's uh, let's see. Let's start off with some walls. I have done this before, but I will do it again because it's, it's a little bit clunky. But it's still cool. It's still cool. I'm going to start off, let's see, with a corner. I, I, Yeah, I suppose building a corner first is going to be the play here. So next, I am going to go with a, a wall there. And actually, I think a window would be better. Right next to a door. And for to having a door, I think you need, you know, just need to leave that space right there. So after that, I'm going to do this. And then from there, oh yeah, a thing, a thing that I learned uh, very slowly, but I, I did learn is you're gonna need quite a bit of space in your home, so don't be afraid to expand. That's 
yeah, don't be afraid to expand. So I'm gonna just, let's see, so I have the walls here, let's talk about uh, doors, there you are, you got our doors here, so I'm gonna put that door over there, and put another door right there, I need, I need, uh, yeah, I need more, I need uh, a, a wall on the other side. Man, all of this so we can, oh, come on Jax, get out of there, there you go, okay, so, man, these, these wolves, these wolves right now. Uh, so I am gonna bring this one over there. Jax! Come on, dude. Get out of there, little guy. Okay, so that's a good one. That's a good one. So now I put a... Uh, oh, the soundtrack went away as well. Oh, no! How do I... Oh, I, how do I... Oh. Oh, I right-click that and it goes away. That's fantastic. You just right-click on stuff and it disappears. That is really, really good. By the way, did I... I might have done this wrong here. I think this is the interior... I think this is the interior window here. And this is the exterior window here. No, this is the interior one. Okay, so I did that right, I think. Yes, I did that right. I believe. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. It's just a tiny detail. Um, let's bring this one over there. And another window would go nicely. Let's see, that's the exterior one. This is the interior one. I can tell by... I think I can tell by the just the, uh, the shadow a little bit. And uh, now bring this thing here. Nope, it's not there. So that's good. Chunk, chunk, chunk. And we got another one over there, and another one over there, and then we put the wall, the windows there. And we got our own first room. Let's, uh, let's just build this room for right now. Because we have other stuff to do this episode, we're gonna need to rest, and I think the first time you rest in this game, you're gonna get a nightmare. Oh, Jax, come on! Come on, guy. There you go, you're locked outside, hopefully. Um, now, a thing that confused me the first time I played this, is the flooring. So the flooring, basically how this works, you can see the walls, but you can't rotate the camera, so you're never gonna be able to bring the flooring right up against the... Um, right up against the thing, so ba right up against, you know, the walls. So basically, right here, it's gonna be a gap, but it's okay, it's totally okay. Let's make floor board... let's, yeah, let's go with that nice color right there. Let's bring the floor here, and as you can see, there's a gap, but that is totally fine. The game doesn't mind, and you will not be able to see that gap when you are playing, so... Don't don't bother yourself with that. And the same works here. For example, right now I can I need a gap here. I need yeah, basically I need this. And I need I'm going to need that and that and that'll be that one I think and I think we're good. I think we're good. No, we are not. We are not. What am I saying right now? Man, the torch light is kind of a problem, but I will fix that right away because we have torches here, I think. I think uh let's see. Doors, foliage, trees, new no! I, ha I have something here. Come on, guys. Misk. Is that Misk? Nope. Oh, man. There's so much stuff in here. Decorations. It is a decoration. It is this thing here, which is a torch scouse, I think, that I'm going to put... I don't have enough materials, do I? What do I need? What is that? I don't know what that is. I think that... I, I'm pretty sure that it's a torch scout, right? Yeah, it is. But I need that. Ah, well. We're not going to be able to sleep for today. Let's, uh, well, we're not gonna be able to have light for today, that's what I'm saying right now. So, let's just put a bed right up against there. I suppose that's a good idea. And let's, oh, new! No, I threw it away. I right-click there, that's why, that's why that, is, that thing is not there. That's fine, I'm gonna fix it. Don't you guys worry. You can also use this thing here for finer details if you need, a, you know, just a little bit more precision. But it's all good for the night. For today, let's rest. Until morning, yes. Hmm, I'm starving, which is totally okay, because I have food, I think. Uh, let's see, so we are really, really starving. We are not taking, we are taking damage, actually. If you, if you, um, are starving, you'll, uh, we'll see that you'll start taking damage. So let's see, what am I gonna eat for the morning? I'm gonna eat some pears and some bread. And, uh, that is gonna be that. Mm-hmm. Jack spent the night outside, but he's fine with that. Big guys uh, is okay with that. Oh, speaking of being okay with that, I need to go back and I need to fix uh, the the house. Yeah. So we are still here. I'm gonna pick the, some berries here because I can also eat them to refresh my my tummy. I suppose. Let's just pick them. Yeah. The, I was gonna say last episode I, I didn't get around. Ouch! There's a big larva here. That is not okay. Why are you attacking me, big larva? Hmm. I was gonna say last episode, and it didn't get around to it. Uh, I was re gonna record our long episodes. Oh, these... Oh, these larvas are not okay. Oh, Jax, you might die, man. It's a good thing I have that... Oh, crap! That guy... That guy is going to town on these larvae. Yeah, I was gonna say that uh, I was gonna record our long episodes. 
for this series because this game is just the kind of game where you chill and you just, you know, have a good time. You're gonna need to spend a lot of time gathering materials and exploring. And it's a very slow paced game, which is. Oh, did Jax die? I think Jax died. It's all good. Uh, it's a very slow paced game, but uh, it's a really, really cool game all the same. The thing is. Oh, no. No, you don't do that to me, sir. You don't do that to me, although I might be running low on arrows. Hopefully not. I didn't check. Oh, nice. They blow up and it kill all of them. Nice. Let's actually check our arrow situation. So our arrows. Do we have arrows up here? 37. That's not okay. That's definitely not okay. And Jax died. So I will be able to bring him back with, uh, with the thing that I have. What do we have here? Bug fat, insect leg, and uh, some linen. I will take that. Thank you very much. Now, where the hell is Jax? Well, I can use my thing here to resurrect oh it requires a phoenix egg okay i have a fix for that don't i i have a thing here right oh i have this thing that i didn't check i had oh yeah you don't drag and drop uh let's see don't i have like um alchemy no is it here for quests no materials where's my ring i supposedly i have a ring but i don't see it i it's gotta be in here hmm well, Jack's gonna stay dead for the day. It's fine. He's gonna come back later. Uh, we can bring, uh, can use some Phoenix eggs, though. I think we should be okay to find some. But for right now, I don't think we need his help. Basically, he's not, uh, he's not gonna do much good for right now. So yeah, as I was saying, this is kind of game that you just chill and relax, and you spend a lot of time doing exactly what I'm doing right now. You just you get sidetracked, and that's the beauty of the game. And uh, I'm, I'm okay with that. The thing is, half an hour episodes, and that's pushing it a little bit on the normal, you know, the normal uh, scheduling. That's, uh, well, it's probably not going to be... I, I can't guarantee that every episode is going to have action in and whatnot. So, today, what we are going to try to do is try to figure out exactly what happened to the packs. Of course, we're not going to be able to do just that. But um, I'm still gonna look around. There's another beehive over there. See, this is the kind of game, this is the kind of thing that I'm talking about right now. Is you're just gonna get distracted and sidetracked. Oh, just three? Come on, give me five. Give me five. Hmm. I think I know where I am. I think, oh yes, I know where I am. Let's take that life herb over there. And there's something here as well. Dirt pile, please no more larvae. And, ooh, a crimson ring. That's cool. Weapon hit chance, is that for... Is that for um, ranged as well? Take those, man. Take those. Where are my rings? Give me my rings. Uh, where are my rings? Oh, there, there they are. Oh, there's my ring. Damn it. My bad. Okay, so I, if I right click to an equip, so how do I use it? How do I use that ring? I can cast magic. Yes, and then come here, and there's what? Bat heal level one, wolf and wrist stun, bunny shot. No, I don't really know what. Oh, recipes. Yeah, yes, I know. I'm gonna have to look at that in between episodes. Don't you guys worry. I'm gonna figure it out. But for right now, let's go back home. Let's try and fix this thing. Oh, let's not try and fix this thing. Let's try and steal, steal a doorknob because we need a doorknob for that thing. And I almost forgot. Oh, by the way, those things over there, they hurt. Don't get too close to them, because they hurt. I'm not going to get close to them, because right now I am riding... Oh, Ida. I haven't talked to her before. You need to keep track of... Oh, that's not... What? Ida? Why the... Oh, she's in there. Um, yeah, you're going to need to keep track on who uh, about who you have talked to, uh, because every one of them has their own quests and all that. Let me just save the game and see if she likes me enough for me to be able to steal what is hers. Couple of buckets of water. Nope, she did not enjoy that. That was a thing that she did not enjoy. Hey, Ida, can I talk to you? Ida owns the largest farm in the woods. People come to her from all kinds of, for all kinds of vegetables. She always works on the farm and never seems tired. Do you need anything, Ida? I'm looking for work. Do you know anything about woodworking? I know a little. Then you should be able to fix my fence. The fence has rotted away and I need you to repair it for me. The fence keeps wild animals off my farm and you know how important my farm is to the village. I've already asked Jones for help, but he told me that fence is fine as it is. You'll see. I need the fence fixed as soon as possible. You can give, uh, I can give you nice, fresh, ripe vegetables if you help me. What do you say? I'll help you, Ida. If your farm is not protected properly, then our village is in jeopardy. You, su your su you supply most of our vegetables. Thank you. Here, take the rest... Take these ripe carrots in advance. Nice. Uh, so, have you heard about the bags and the fires, Ida? 
Yes, my dear boy, it's terrible. The Peck family is missing. I can't believe this. How can someone something like this happen? I don't know. Let's hope they find them soon. Have you heard or seen anything strange? No. N not that I can think of. That poor little girl, Audie. I saw her growing up and now she's nowhere to be seen. So, can you tell me about farming? Of course, dear. Let's start. So everything starts with a field without... Okay, so I know what yeah, I know what she's gonna go on about. She's gonna t tell us what we need to do to just grow stuff. So I will look into her recipes. She cannot l teach us anything because we're not farmers. Let's look at her supplies, but nope, that is not... Oh, why did you close the door? I need to go out. Hmm. It's all good. Can I check? Though? No, I, I have already gone there. So you need to fix that thing. We have plenty of wood. We have so many materials right now. It's not even funny. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna need to build a... Uh, I'm gonna need to build a chest back home and just leave the materials... Building materials at the very least back home. But right now, I'm gonna fix her fence. Very, very quickly. Let me check my... My status and it's all good. They didn't even break a sweat. And now she's gonna be very, very thankful and she's gonna give, give us her plums. Uh, or whatever she, the vegetables. Are, veg are plums vegetables? I don't know. Uh, so I'm done with the repairs, Zita. Thank you so much. Here, take these. They are the finest vegetables I have right now. And she gave me some corn and some potatoes, which is awesome. Uh, so that's about it. That is about it. See you later, Ida. See you later. Uh, Riz. Oh, Riz, the guy that supposedly stole the, uh, the ring. Yeah, that's right. Riz is a shady person. Grandpa told me not to trust him. He often starts fights in the inn, and he's usually w he usually wins them. I could learn a thing or two from him about fighting. He never works, but he still manages to live pretty well. Hey, I... I never saw you work, Riz. Not for a single day. Mind your own business. Why do you have to poke your nose into everything? Well, everyone in the village has a job. Everyone does something to make our village better, except for you. Do you want to piss me off? That's what you want? Because you are doing it famously. Leave me alone. So why do you why do you have something to do? That's enough. Get out. Oh, come on. Okay, yeah. Cardo thinks you stole his blue ring from him. Cardo is a lunatic. I have nothing to do with him. And nothing to do with no ring. Well, it told me you stole his ring. Why would Cardo lie? I, I don't even think he's able to lie, Riz. I'm a fool. I get caught by the village idiot. What a joke, right? So you admit you stole it? I admit. I admit. Fine. I, it's... It's worthless anyway. Here, take it. Why did you steal it from him? The poor knucklehead told me it has magical powers. I was bored and wanted to take a look at it. First I asked, but he didn't want to show it to me. I asked again, but he refused, so when he went out of his house, I snuck in. I didn't think he would immediately turn back and see me, but he did. But why did you keep it? Everyone knows. I guess your father didn't tell you. Back in the day, I was quite a famous thief. I like to steal stuff. It's in my veins. My mother and my father were thieves too. Proud thieves who stole from the fat rich bastards. You were a thief? I just told you. What do you steal from these people? That's that's not okay. Okay, thank you for giving me the ring back. It's worth nothing. Can you teach me a few things though? Uh, so you want to help me now? Well, help me out now, do you? What's in it for me? What do you want? I'm making a new tool for myself, and I need some perfect pine wood for it. Bring me four pieces of perfect pine wood, and I might consider teaching you a thing or two. Perfect pine wood is rare, so you might need to chop down quite a few pine trees. What tool are you building? None of your business. Will you help me or not? All right, I'll bring you the wood you need. I will bring you the wood you need. It's okay. It's all good. If he comes back, I'll steal from him as well. Hopefully, you'll be proud of me. And I'll also save the game because ain't no better tool than that. Steal everything you can while you can. There you go. I'm going to need to sort through all of this. There's a few notes. I'm going to look at them um, at the end of the episode. But for right now, I need a doorknob. Let's take that wood as well. Oh, there gathering around the village well that's okay and this is I think the place where oh no this is Osric's place it's the farm I think oh that's that's the one I'm looking for this is the forge or whatever the blacksmithery Blacks, blacksmithery is that is that the correct way of saying it anyway there's a lot of stuff in here which I will immediately take because it's really really good and there are bound to be doorknobs around here so I will just do that let's see we got an anvil as well nice we got a uh, smelter here which is really really good because if you find ore and all that you're gonna need to smelt it and uh, make yourself some nice ingots and whatnot or whatever I don't really know what the game is gonna call it I think I got everything I, I needed there's something here as well who lives there it seems to be hey Arda Arda makes the best potato soup in the village. She is the mother of Edith. In the past, she was a vivid person full of life, but when her husband died, she changed. Sometimes she asks me to harvest her crops, and I always gladly help her. Do you need any help around the house, Arda? 
It's just another boring day, nothing to do really, but I, I might be able to sweeten up the day with a nice cake, don't you think? I don't even remember the last time I made a melon cake. Mm. Everyone in the village loves it, no wonder it's full of sugar. I have all the ingredients for it but one. I don't have any watermelons. Could you bring me three watermelons? In return, I will give you two big slices of the cake. Oh, it's a deal. We have a ripe watermelon in our fields at home, so I only need to find two more. Great. I'm going to prepare everything. Uh, so, can you teach me a recipe? I thought you I taught you a few recipes already. Why don't you try to cook something up on your own? Since we've been living in the woods, I've created more than a dozen new recipes. It's really not that hard. You need to experiment a little. Try out different ingredients. Mix them together. And the outcome just might be something amazing. But be careful not to use anything that might be poisonous, like the green berries around here. Feel free to use my furnace. All right, Arda. I'll try to invent my own recipe. Um, okay. I Let's look at her merchandise and not in the dirty way. Let's also... Should I take this? Can, can I take this? Is she fine with that? Apparently... Well, she didn't. She probably didn't see me. So we're looking for the blacksmith... Oh, we're not looking for the blacksmith. We're looking to go back home and finish the episode because I just looked at the time. Finish the episode with a little bit of repairs and hopefully Grandpa is gonna give us sweets or whatever. What do Grandpa's give us? My Grandpa... My Grandpa never gave me anything. My Grandma did, but my Grandpa not so much. I don't know. It's probably stereotypical as well. Like Grandpa giving you nice sweets and all that chocolate and night. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, did I get that? I didn't. So there we go. We also have the bees. So that's cool. The game is uh, filled with fetch quests, but yeah, they're interparsed enough where. Oh, that's explosive barrel right there. They're interparsed enough for without a quest that you're just gonna be able to. If you're a pack rat, a pack rat like me, you're gonna be able to get them easy enough. So. That watermelon is gone. I could plant more if I had watermelon seeds, I suppose. Or do I need to eat the watermelon seeds? The, the watermelon that I have. So, let's make this. Let's bring that back up. Grandpa comes to see my work. Hello, Grandpa. How's it going, man? Oh, something is in the way. Oh, that's no way to talk about your grandpa uh, grandfather. What kind of man are you, man? Seriously? Let's see what we have here in this, uh, whatever this is called. Some nails. Nice. Also some wood here. I don't need wood. I'm gonna need to chop down some trees, but that's not gonna be for right now. Oh, I, no, not everything is fixed. There's thing, still something in here that needs fixing. Is it a ground? Nope. It's the nightstand. And probably this. Do I need to light it up? I do. There we go. Is this good? Are we good? Hey, Edmund. How's it going, man? I got the bees. Uh, so, yeah, here are the bees. We will introduce them to their new home right away. Thank you for your help, my son. I'm glad I could help. And he gave me a beard? What the hell did he give me? A jar of honey. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thought that was a beer. Kind of looks like a beer from Seven Days to Die a little bit. Uh, did I get this? Some poo. Hey, Grandpa. I'm done with the repairs, Grandpa. Good work, son. I would have done it myself, but I'm not as strong as I used to be. You should continue to work on your own house when you have time. Man, this guy is very okay with me moving out, basically. Huh. Okay. Well, I think we're about out of time for the day. I will just... Uh... Nope. There are no apples for me. No apples for me. Okay. Well, in that case, that's going to be it for now. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Ballroom. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.